the most disturbing aircraft project that the world has ever witnessed, is about to become reality. After decades of failed attempts and shattered dreams, NASA and Boeing have finally cracked the code on creating something so advanced, so utterly dominant, that it could end conflicts before they even begin. But the emergence of Donald Trump as president in January 2025 didn't just speed up these plans. It ignited the most dangerous global arms race in human history. This is the story of the F-47, America's sixth generation fighter jet that makes every other aircraft look like a toy. But what makes this revelation truly shocking isn't just the aircraft's capabilities. It's what China and Russia are planning in response. For decades, the concept of a sixth generation fighter seemed impossible. NASA had been wrestling with designs that pushed the boundaries of physics itself, creating prototypes that consistently failed to meet expectations. Every time they got close to a breakthrough, technical limitations would drag them back to the drawing board. The project became a graveyard of abandoned concepts and wasted billions. But everything changed when Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency launched their Aerospace Innovation Initiative in 2014. Those mysterious X-plane prototypes weren't just experiments. They were full-scale demonstrations of technologies that would eventually birth the most feared aircraft ever conceived. Boeing had been quietly working behind the scenes, developing what they called a penetrating counter-air vehicle, a term that barely hints at the monster they were creating. What happened next would shock the entire defense establishment. History teaches us that whoever controls the skies controls the battlefield. World War I transformed combat from hand-to-hand -hand fighting in trenches to deadly aerial duels between biplanes. But that was child's play compared to what modern warfare demands. Today's conflicts aren't won by the bravest pilot or the most maneuverable aircraft. They're dominated by technological superiority so advanced that the enemy never even sees death coming. The United States has maintained this advantage for decades through monsters like the F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning II. These fifth generation fighters have been virtually untouchable, striking fear into the hearts of adversaries worldwide. When Ukrainian forces received even basic F-16, Russian commanders knew their aerial dominance was crumbling. Imagine their terror when they realize what's coming next. But China and Russia haven't been sitting idle. Nations like Beijing have been pouring resources into fighters like the Chengdu J-20, Shenyang J-11, and J-15, desperately trying to close the gap. Their pilots train relentlessly. Their engineers work around the clock, but they've always been chasing America's shadow. That's about to change in the most dramatic way possible. When President Trump walked into the Oval Office in March 2025, he faced a decision that would alter the course of military history. Three major defense contractors, Lockheed Martin, Boeing, and Raytheon Technologies had been battling for the contract of a lifetime. The prize? Building the F-47, an aircraft so advanced that its very existence would redefine what's possible in aerial combat. The competition was brutal. Each company promised revolutionary capabilities, but only one could deliver what the Air Force demanded, a fighter jet capable of operating completely alone, without the support systems that previous generations required. No loyal wingman, no extensive ground support, just pure, concentrated lethality. Boeing's victory came with a staggering $20 billion price tag, more than double the budget allocated to previous aircraft projects. But what they promised in return was worth every penny. An aircraft that would be virtually undetectable by any air defense system currently deployed by America's enemies. The F-47 wouldn't just be another fighter jet. It would be a flying fortress capable of penetrating the most heavily defended airspace on Earth and emerging without a scratch. But the most disturbing part wasn't what Boeing promised to build. It was what their competitors revealed about China's response. China's frightening counter move. While America celebrated Boeing's selection, intelligence agencies were tracking something far more ominous on the other side of the Pacific. Beijing hadn't just been developing their own sixth generation aircraft, they'd been planning to deploy it by 2030, five years ahead of America's projected timeline. The wake up call came on August 5th, 2025, when photos surfaced on Chinese social media showing a mysterious tailless aircraft prototype. This wasn't another J-20 variant or a modified existing design. Defense analysts immediately recognized the pointed nose, highly swept wings with cropped tips, and the distinctive W-shaped trailing edge. This was China's answer to American air superiority 
and it was further along than anyone had imagined. The aircraft, designated as either the J-36 or J-50 depending on its specific role, represented everything Beijing had learned from studying American stealth technology. But more terrifyingly, it incorporated design elements that suggested capabilities even beyond what the F-47 promised. Chinese engineers had reportedly solved problems that American designers were still wrestling with. Their sixth generation fighter wasn't just meant to match the F-47, it was designed to surpass it. The implications were staggering, but the real shock came when intelligence sources revealed China's timeline wasn't just ambitious, it was accelerated. The urgency behind America's F-47 program becomes crystal clear when examining China's aggressive expansion into the South China Sea. Beijing has made no secret of their intention to reunify Taiwan with mainland China, regardless of what the Taiwanese people want. The only thing standing between China and their conquest has been American military might, particularly the threat of F-22 Raptors and F-35 Lightning Eyes responding to any invasion. The Taiwan Relations Act of 1979 gives America the legal framework to provide military assistance, but it's the aircraft carriers USS Ronald Reagan, USS Carl Vinson, and USS Nimitz patrolling the Taiwan Strait that provide the real deterrent. These floating fortresses can launch devastating attacks from F-A-18 Super Hornets and F-35s, creating a defensive umbrella that even China's massive military hesitates to challenge. But Beijing's new sixth generation aircraft changes everything. If Chinese fighters can penetrate American defenses and neutralize carrier groups, Taiwan's fate would be sealed in hours, not days. The strategic balance that has prevented World War III for decades could collapse overnight. American military planners realized that conventional fifth generation fighters, no matter how advanced, wouldn't be enough to counter this threat. They needed something revolutionary. Something that could guarantee American aerial supremacy for the next 50 years. The F-47 wasn't just an upgrade, it was America's insurance policy against global catastrophe. What makes the F-47 truly terrifying isn't just its stealth capabilities or advanced avionics, it's the integration of technologies that were considered science fiction just a decade ago. Sources within the Department of Defense hint that the collaboration between Boeing and NASA has produced breakthroughs that dwarf anything previously achieved. The aircraft's engines, developed under the Next Generation Adaptive Propulsion Program, represent a quantum leap in power and efficiency. While details remain classified, the F-47 is expected to cruise at supersonic speeds without afterburners, a capability that would allow it to strike targets over 1,000 nautical miles away and return without refueling. But speed is just the beginning. The F-47's stealth technology goes far beyond radar evasion. Its multispectral signature reduction makes it nearly invisible to infrared sensors, acoustic detection systems, and even visual identification at typical engagement ranges. Enemy pilots wouldn't just struggle to target the F-47, they might never know it was there until their own aircraft were already falling from the sky. The most chilling aspect is the F-47's autonomous coordination capabilities. Unlike previous fighters that required extensive human oversight, the F-47 can command swarms of unmanned drones, turning a single pilot into a one-person air force. Imagine facing not just one invisible enemy aircraft, but a coordinated attack from dozens of autonomous systems, all controlled by a single F-47. This isn't just technological advancement, it's the militarization of artificial intelligence on a scale never before attempted. Behind all the technological marvels and strategic implications lies a sobering economic truth. The F-47 program represents the most expensive military aircraft development in human history. Each F-47 is projected to cost at least three times more than an F-35 Lightning de Coup II which already carries a price tag of approximately $100 million per aircraft. Congress initially balked at the numbers, with the Air Force requesting at least 185 F-47s, the total program cost could exceed $60 billion, not including research, development, and infrastructure investments. Critics questioned whether America could afford such astronomical expenses, especially when existing F-22s and F-35s still dominated global airspace. But Major General Joseph Kungel, Director of Air Force Force Design, Integration, and Wargaming, delivered a chilling assessment that silenced congressional opposition. 
We tried a whole bunch of different options, and there was no more viable option than the Next Generation Air Dominance Initiative to achieve air superiority in this highly contested environment. The reality facing American military leaders was stark. China's military budget had grown exponentially, their technological capabilities were advancing faster than predicted, and their willingness to challenge American hegemony was no longer in question. The F-47 wasn't just an expensive weapon system. It was the only thing standing between America and the loss of global military supremacy. When faced with the choice between fiscal restraint and national survival, Congress chose survival. But that decision came with consequences that extend far beyond budget concerns. The F-47's development has triggered responses that go far beyond China's sixth generation program. Russia, despite being mired in their costly invasion of Ukraine, has reportedly accelerated development of their own next generation fighters. The Mikoyan PAKD program, previously considered a distant possibility, has suddenly received massive funding increases. Even America's allies are feeling the pressure. The Global Combat Air Program, a joint initiative between the United Kingdom, Japan, and Italy, has shifted into overdrive as these nations realize they cannot afford to fall behind in the sixth generation race. France, Germany, and Spain have similarly accelerated their future combat air system program. What began as an American response to Chinese military expansion has evolved into a global arms race that dwarfs the Cold War competition between NATO and the Soviet Union. Every major military power is now pouring resources into developing aircraft capabilities that seemed impossible just years ago. The most disturbing aspect isn't the financial cost or technological complexity. It's the hair-trigger instability this creates. When every nation possesses weapon systems capable of devastating first strikes, the margin for error disappears completely. A single miscalculation, a misidentified radar signature, or a communication breakdown could trigger conflicts that make previous world wars look restrained. As we stand on the precipice of the sixth generation fighter age, one question dominates strategic thinking around the world. Who will achieve operational capability first? The F-47's projected deployment between 2027 and 2030 represents America's bet on maintaining aerial supremacy. But China's accelerated timeline suggests this race is far from decided. The implications extend far beyond military strategy. The nation that fields the first truly operational sixth generation fighter will possess advantages that could reshape global politics for generations. Taiwan, the South China Sea, Eastern Europe, the Middle East, every potential flashpoint will be viewed through the lens of sixth generation fighter capabilities. But perhaps the most sobering realization is that we're witnessing the emergence of weapon systems so advanced so capable of autonomous operation that they represent a fundamental shift in how wars will be fought. The F-47 and its Chinese counterparts aren't just evolutionary improvements. They're harbingers of a future where human pilots might become obsolete, where artificial intelligence makes life and death decisions in microseconds, and where the very nature of conflict transforms beyond recognition. The race for sixth generation supremacy has begun and the winners will write the rules for the next chapter of human history. The question isn't whether these aircraft will change the world, it's whether we're prepared for the world they're about to create.